today I'm playing um, Tarion Saga KR17, which is a, uh, a retro uh, platform game. I don't know how to do it. Uh, empty save file. I'm going for a novice. A retro platform game like, like you know, I guess the 16 bit platform games, possibly the 8 bits. Is, is clearly um, fully committed to the uh, 16 bit games. And some background story here. So, a, a military base. Still purely for altruistic reasons, it's been overrun by evil robots. So we're sending a hundred robots to uh, get it all sorted out. Fortunately, number 17 is the uh, Klutz group. Then trips over something. Um, and this is fortunate because everybody else dies. Yes, resting. Yes. Right, so, uh, A to jump, right. F, F for those up, A to jump, F for those up, and if I press S, A little robot comes out. Although, possibly. Possibly it's a waste of time. Right, A. Let's do that. I'm collecting all these little gear wheels. I'm not really sure why. Double tap to dash. I'm not really sure what the dash engaged me, to be honest. Now at the top there, at the top uh, right, I can change between various things by hitting return. And that's my um, <laughs> weapon, which is on D. And that's quite an impressive explosion. And use is the up arrow. No, it's the down arrow. It actually took me 10 minutes to wear that out the first time. Things that did confuse me down there to use the door. It's quite often hard to tell the difference between things that are background scenery. Oopsie. Ah. Oh. Things that are background scenery. things which are actually platforms you can land on. Um, that box is going to be served with grenades. Alright. Did that work? I did do this before. No, I can't 
can't destroy with that. Collect these bits of, I guess, circuit circuit diagram. I guess the circuit diagram. Right, save, which is handy because then when you mess up something, which I'll do frequently, you just go back to the save point. Right, lift. Jumping malarkey. Ah, oh, I missed it. There we go. Which is not usually my strong point. Right. Point. The electrified bits here. Ah, I don't fall in there. Yeah, sorry. The electrical bits, they kill you. Oh, not that. Well, in general, the game does seem to give you a. You know, by putting the gear wheels there. Does seem to give you a reasonable um, uh, I don't think I need to shoot that. There we go. I can now use a jetpack. Uh, see, that's a bit. I thought I could land on that. Never mind. Obviously, I can't. Uh, so, possibly rather than watch me um, platform badly at this point, you should go and try the game for yourself. It's available for uh, uh, less than a fiver. I think there's a discount. Discount for the. Um, ooh. Discount while it's um because it just got launched a couple of days ago. It was originally a Kickstarter, which I backed. Um, and the reason I backed is because it was promised to be a um, Linux version. Linux version isn't available yet. Linux version isn't available. Yes. So I'm playing this one through Steam. Hey, right, we use a little robot. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, the wine version through Steam. Oh, secret area. Woohoo! And I think, there you go, I'll complete the first level, so that's a good place to leave it. If I'm playing the wine version on Steam, I'm expecting to be a Linux version along any day now and uh, for the price if you're into uh, if you're into platform platform adventure games in the 90s definitely worth checking out